What's up guys, you know who it is. It's your boy Kenny with JDM Muscle, and we're back. So last time I was at the track, um, I did have some brake fade. Uh, I did notice that my brake fluid was a little low. It's probably been a couple of years since the brake fluid has been changed. So what I'm gonna do is today, I'm gonna show you how to change the brake fluid. Uh, we'll take the old stuff out. We're gonna gravity feed. I don't have somebody with me today to help push on the pedal. Um, I could wait till tomorrow, but I figured this would be a cool way to take up my day and show the video. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be running. So the car has already ran this before. Uh, it's a DA4 Racing Brake Fluid RBF 600. I was able to pick it up off Amazon for 19 bucks, so taxes was about 20 bucks. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna try to do this video as quick as I can. I'm gonna show you the rundowns, easiest way to do it. And then I'm also gonna show you the way that they say you should do the wheels, as in uh, front left, right, or front left first, right front first, or ugh. so left front first, and then second is going to be the right front and then right rear and then finishes with the left rear so let's get started all right guys so it's time to actually get started now what i did first like i said i'm going to try to give you the quickest rundown and do it as fast as you can uh first i went around and i cracked loose all four um tires all lug nuts uh and then from there i'm going to take off brake fluid reservoir let's pull this plastic piece out Pull this inside out. From there, we can see all the old fluid in there. Now, I've seen people use uh, turkey basters, if you have it, um, basically to suck out all the fluid. I don't have one available, but what I do have is a old pump from shampoo. So I'm gonna stick it in here, and this is how I'm going to attempt to get it all out, which honestly, it's actually working really well. Now, time-wise, I don't know how long this whole job's gonna take. I know doing it by myself and the gravity uh, feed is, or gravity draining it is going to take longer, um, but that's okay. So let's get all this old out. All right, sounds like I'm starting to suck up some air. So I'm gonna try to get out as much as I can from there. I'm going to lift the car, so that'll be the next step. All right, guys, we have one tire off. Now I'm pulling the second tire off. This is when an impact wrench would help. All right, two tires down, two to go. All right guys, now that all four tires are off, the car is jacked up. Let's go back to our brake reservoir and let's add in a little bit of fluid. That way we can drain out the rest. So I'm gonna slowly put some in here. That way the level's back up and we can get some out. All right, that's good. Now, like I said, first, let's go to the left front tire. So down to the front left, we're gonna just loosen up the, uh, I guess you would say, um, brake fluid, uh, drain so let's just loosen this up a little bit i do have a small little rubber um piece i'm just going to put on the end right here 
So once it's ready, I'm just gonna put this on the end after I loosen it, and this will drain it right down into my bucket. So I'm gonna show you that next. All right guys, so it is gonna be a 10 millimeter to loosen that. I am going to try to do it on camera. Try not to drop the camera or anything. Okay, so I've got it loosened up a little bit. Let's slip this back on and see if I can't get a little bit out. Let's, let's see, all right, so it is coming out. Let's try to help it come out downwards a little. <clears throat> All right guys, so it is coming out slow. I'm gonna shut the camera off for this part. I don't think you guys are gonna want to watch it drain super slow, but it is working. So that's a great sign. All right guys, so it's been draining for a little over five minutes. I've seen mixed reviews on people saying how long to actually let it sit. Um, I just kept feeling it, uh, trying to feel and smell compared to what the brand new bottle smells like. Um, so I myself, like I said, that's about how long I let it go. So I'm going to tighten it back up and we're going to move to the next wheel. All right, guys, let's go to the next wheel. Now what I'm going to do to save a little time, depending on what you're trying to do, while one side's bleeding, I am going to put the tire back on. And that way at the end, I can just save a little bit more time. So let's go to the next side. Like I said, this was the left front first. I'm going to the right front next. All right, guys, so that's the same amount of time on this side. So let's tighten up the right front. Yeah, damn, I'll just take this off. All right, guys, let's go to the back right and then we'll go to the back left all right guys so just like that everything is done i did finish up the both rear sides tighten them back up put on all four tires uh from there you know once you get it off jack stands all the tires back on please remember to tighten your wheels back up from there i topped off my reservoir um i guess personally now i'm going to take it for a spin make sure everything's working right like i said direction wise super easy i would just uh I mean, it took me probably around an hour, maybe a little bit more. Um, try to jack the car up level. Uh, like I said, first step would be, you know, crack the tires loose from there, uh, drain out the fluid out of the reservoir itself. Um, left front, right front, uh, right rear, and then left rear. And then from there, you can tighten everything back up. Um, I guess a good judge of how long you should do each wheel, I guess, bleed it. Um, I did five to ten-ish minutes depending on how fast it was coming out. The rears were a little bit slower, so I spent more time on the rears. Um, from there, that's it. So for me, it's going to be uh, in two weeks, I'll be at the West Michigan Honda Meet. That's at Gingerman Raceway in Michigan, South Haven, Michigan. So hopefully I can see you guys there. Let me know what you want to see next. Peace.